Hey, yes, uh, thank you very much, Martin, for the introduction. Also, thank you very much for uh, TechBlick, of course, for the greatest organization, and uh, to Kasha and Christoph and Chris, of course. And I hope you already had a very nice uh, day of uh, good presentations and uh, new information. So let's start with active mold packaging today. So first, a uh, short look at the agenda. You see it's pretty crowded, so uh, we might need to speed through uh, some of these slides like APKF at a glance. Then we are talking about active mold packaging to basically lay a common ground for all the, uh, uh, for the technology so that we understand what we are talking about. Then we are looking into dielectric properties of the material we are working on. Um, we have designed some antennas and measured the antenna performance as well as for EMI shielding effectiveness. So we can also present now some data to that. And as a last point, we will rework a, a system in package, uh, an RF module. And uh, at the end, we have a conclusion and outlook. So, um, APKF, who are we? We are basically a laser specialist. So we like to sell laser machines uh, to the markets, to the electronics manufacturing market. We do this since um, over 40 years, since 1976, which is already uh, a little bit longer than I walked this earth. So uh, it's quite some time. Although the first laser machine was really a stencil laser for cutting uh, stencils for solar paste printing and it was sold in 1992. So I mentioned already that we have uh, that we basically concentrate on equipment on laser equipment uh, for R&D purposes for mass manufacturing purposes and we cover also quite some different markets uh, with that. You will find us um, all over the world, uh, so we share, we have a high share in, uh, in export. Of course, uh, many uh, machines and uh, equipment goes to, to Asia and uh, we are based in, in Europe. So the headquarters is in Germany in near Hannover. And um, yeah, when we look back at the, uh, the last year, uh, 2019 and 2020, we see, okay, there is a an impact, of course, of the uh, pandemic, but uh, overall we could do quite some uh, or quite well, actually. All right, active mold packaging. What is this really? And why would you want to use that? So it's not first talking about, okay, what we do exactly and what's the laser technology behind. Um, first, I want you to understand, or we, we, we need to understand, okay, what is it used for, right? Um, so first, active mold packaging is basically to create, to manufacture electric circuitry on the epoxy mold compound on the surface and inside the volume. So we basically, we offer new metal layers to, an, to a package. So uh, we actually use for, for doing so, uh, for creating circuitry, of course, we need uh, horizontal features, uh, horizontal conductors and they are connected vertically. So we have vertical interconnect accesses, which are vias, of course. And therefore we can connect different metal planes, metal layers uh, with each other with the help of a via. So we are completely working. We are in the realm of the epoxy mold compound, which is used to still protect the, uh, the very delicate features inside an IC package. Like, of course, the, the silicon chip or the semiconductor chip, any passives uh, that are also used inside the, uh, the IC package, wire bonding, and that's still available. So this use case for the epoxy mold compound is still there to protect the uh, package from physical and, and overall, we can say it's about uh, 2.5D packaging. And it's also a heterogeneous uh, approach since we are working with different uh, materials as well. So how do we realize that? So you probably, <clears throat> you notice here we have uh, active mold packaging is a collection <clears throat> or it's a com 